perfect timing. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. Here we go, rescuing Doc. As soon as the other Marty leaves. We're gonna go get him! And hopefully my voice is blocking out this music enough that, um... Uh, I won't get copyright struck. So, like, hopefully. It's a long story. Oh, son of a... And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean. He came back to get you. Fascinating. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. <laughs> He's coming around. So please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley and I'm never coming back. No! He's got to hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. You know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. No, oh, possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? Uh -huh. Something like that. Sure, anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. When can I expect to see you? <laughs> that was a close call. You think he'll be okay? You're not fading out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kit Tannen is finally put behind bars. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. <laughs> And now we are back in 1986, right after this loading screen, of course. So, load, load, load. There we go. Well, everything looks okay. Are you sure? See, they fly residents. So... Want to come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, buddy, but... You've got to go. I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead. Kids to raise and all that. No, I've got to go to the bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Oh. Oh! You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. All right. See you soon, Doc. Go inside. Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. Another day? Dad, what are you talking about? Marty. No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. See, now you know they've Dad, messed up the timeline in some way talking about what's the matter dad are you in trouble or something this is a trick go away leave us alone haven't we suffered enough mom get jennifer on the phone she'll recognize my voice jennifer jennifer who jennifer parker my girlfriend i don't know who you're talking about how can i convince you tell me something only marty would know uh, when I was eight, when I was eight years old, I set fire to the living room rug. That's right. Oh my lord, what are you waiting for, George? Let him in! Here we go. Stupid locks. Marty! He's in a wheelchair. Oh my god, Dad. What, what happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? It's Biff. Biff. I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp. Biff, whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. And Biff's brothers. Who are they? 
Yeah, like you don't know Cliff and Rip. What do you think we should do with him, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait, I'm trying to process here. Where do these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. It's called the birds and the bugs, butthead. <clears throat> I got a question. Why are you guys so pissed at me? You don't remember? You've really lost it, McFly. Think back. The thing with the manure truck? Which one? Heh. <laughs> Hey! And another thing. <laughs> what are you guys doing here anyway? It's that time of the month. Time for Georgie to pay up. Well, we usually take the payment in cash. But this month, we can take it out of here. Biff! So now the Tannins are some kind of minor league mafia? Hey, watch who you're calling minor league. The Tannen Gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. No way. <laughs> you don't believe me. No! Bang! <laughs> it's a lighter. Check it out. So you're a family from mine. In gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. That's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Oh boy. Tell me. How long have you been coming down on my dad like this? Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. <laughs> Shut up, it's not funny. Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. Here's what I still don't understand. Why can't you pick on somebody else? So now that we've got the crate over there, it's kind of a we can stand on it and then duck, and he'll hit the, uh, um, the. Okay, but if what happened to you when I left here? You were kind of the afraid, my dad. bug zapper. He'll hit the bug zapper with the baseball bat. Tannen ain't never been afraid of no McFly. <laughs> They're such idiots. Piece of cake. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Oh boy, I love this right here. This is so epic. It's Kid Tannen as an old man. Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. Yeah. Marty, get in. This timeline's been compromised. No kidding. Something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tannen to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Ah, jeez. Rob the arcade? <laughs> That's what he's concerned about, robbing the arcade. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannins. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. I love this game so much. And I love Back to the Future. Now we're back in 1931. On a different date, of course. Because we're on the date that Tannen was supposed to get arrested, okay, but... Uh, let's run through this again. Sometime we'll figure it out. Kid Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Pixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. 
Parker. Parker. Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. You need to go back into Tannen speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache I love really that. necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. All right. So we'll go talk to Edna. Pardon me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy. Am I right? Uh, yeah. Can't you tell me the way? Down. Straight down. The last stop before the inferno. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. Oh boy. This is actually funny here. What in heaven's name? Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown! Why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? It's Einstein. To advance the human condition, of course. Hello, Mike. Mike? Mr. Corleone, what are you doing in that getup? I'm going undercover. How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Imi and I have been up to. His last words. All right. Now where's that speaking? So now we'll get over there. We remember where it was from last time. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. So if you remember the um, paper here. If you see, you have to start your sentence with the... Uh, I don't know, it goes with the last syllable of the question they ask you. I'll demonstrate here in a few minutes, but you see I, I, low, low, in, in, so like, you'll see. So I'll go up to the door and do that. Who gave you the right to knock on my door? For his day? What will you do when I send you away? Wait till Wednesday? Where do you live? Live for more. Welcome to L Kids, sir. So yeah, that that's the way you get in, basically, by matching the syllables. Gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about, am I right? So let's have a big L kid welcome for the one, the only, Trixie Trotter. Out 
on my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. So that's this cop here, Officer Parker, that we need to get to arrest Tannen. Hey, are you here? Parker. Oscar, Danny, Danny Parker, Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? Y you look familiar. Nah. Well, stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Want to talk about them? Do, do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car... Every morning, every evening, hey, we got fun. Not much money, oh, but honey, hey, we got fun. Whoopee! Yeah, now, about we those troubles. Uh, I don't want to wallow in misery. I came here to get happy. Hallelujah! So basically what we gotta do... I'll be here. I'm supposed to get this guy If we go over here, you can... He gets influenced by the music, so we gotta change it to, like, music that, um... He'll be more, like, influenced by. So we'll change it to a sad song. Like this. So now we can go talk to him again. Danny. You. So about those troubles. It all started on uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys. When this, uh, this car, straight out of Buck Rogers, popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub had to have been heard from said. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. When not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me. <laughs> she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that shit sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. You got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. So now we gotta play a song about, like, telling secrets. So we'll be influenced by that. So there we go. We can go you know, tell us a secret now. Danny. You. What about that secret? Oh yeah, my secret. Oh, you're my pal. Well, I can tell you, but don't let it get out. I've been working for Tannen for over a month now. What? It's true. 
All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and ten made sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? But people are getting hurt. Kid's a killer. Ah, that's just rumors and circumnavigational evidence. Although, that wall of fame is pretty spooky. Oh, God. I've made a horrible mistake. That wall of fame will come in handy I later. I could step my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. What have I done? <laughs> come on, Danny. Pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> Alright, so we gotta find some way to cheer him up. Oh God. 